Okay, so in this video we're going to, what are we going to do? Create our animations from the uh, split sprite sheets. So the first thing we're going to do is create a nice folder for animation. So under Assets, I will click Create Folder Animations. Now, first we're going to create, well first if we go into this, these split sprites, you can see that as I go back and forth through these, really these um, sprites provide sort of a set of images that uh, project the player looking east, west, north, south. And also idle in. Actually, I need to create subfolders. Under animations, we're also going to create a folder controllers. And animations. Okay, now the way we're going to create our animations, and there's multiple ways to do this, is we select these first four images. Remember, if I go traverse through these images, essentially the first four um, model the player walking east. So I'm going to select these four and drag it onto the player object. This suggests there's other ways to do this. So you notice as soon as I do that, Unity figures out I'm creating an animation. Um, player walk east. I'm going to put that in animations animations save that now you see if we go under animations of what we created this object is a controller that was automatically created when we created our animations so we won't get into too much of the architecture but an animator over here that's attached to the player object um, as a controller object. So we're going to just move this controller into the controllers folder. All right, so that's neat. And actually, we're going to rename player object, which is an animation controller, to player controller. Just following what the author describes in the textbook. Okay, so now we have um, our first animation. Now you see down here, we're starting to build out essentially what is an animation state machine. Uh, let's keep going. Let's create the next four images. Let's just check four, two, three, four. So this is the player walking west. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Select those images, drag, oops, drag onto player object. Once again, drill into animations. And I'll just select him and then rename this player walk west. Now we can see that shows up in our state machine here. Um, so let's keep going. So the next set, we only have two. So for player walk, let's see. I'm going to get to these next two. So this back is towards us. We're going to make that player 
walking north. So I'm going to select these two, drag it up to player again, drill into animations, and name this player walk north. And then the next two will make player walk south. Select an 11, drag up the player. Animations. Player walk south. And then finally, we have our idle state. Boom, 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 head moves. So we'll finish that up. Select those last two. Drag that up, player. Drill into animations. Call player idle. Okay, so that takes care of our player. Now you notice if you look at the state missing, the entry state goes to player walkie. So now if we actually play our game, we should go into the state of the player, player walkie. So you can see by the graphic here that we go into the state and we'll go into more detail these animations, but basically it's in a loop state where the player is uh, walking east. So we'll stop that. And now we'll do the enemy. So enemy walk. OK, now we're going to do the enemy. Enemy start with walk. Let's see what this looks like. It really only has one animation, so we're going to select all of these. Drag that up to our enemy. Go through the same drill. Animations. Enemy. Walk. Now if we go back, you'll see under animations we have the controller. So we'll move that controller into the controllers folder and rename him, name it enemy controller. Now we'll do idle. Let's see what it looks like. Oops. Okay, so we'll take these images. Drag them up onto enemy. And we'll name this enemy idle. So now, if we play the game, we save Control S. Now if we play the game, we should see the enemy being animated as well. Okay. Stop that. One last thing to show you, just because the textbook shows you. At this point in creating the, uh, creating the game is changing the speed. So if I select the player object, and then go into the animator and select one of the animations, for example, player walk east. We can see that the speed is one. So you'll note when I play this, he is a bit frenetic. So we're going to change this, just try, let's say, 0.6. That's a little bit better. This just shows you, um, you know, this is one of the things you can control 
through animations. Um, and we'll spend time configuring all of these animation speeds and so forth later on. So that's it for animations. Um, on to the next video.